Hi Gemini, welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. If at any time you guys do uh, resonate with this reading, go ahead and hit that like button so that we can have that exchange of energy. For those of you that are returning, we're gonna be doing things a little bit differently. Uh, the layout will be different. And at the end, I'm gonna pull an Oracle card and we'll read about it and see how it pertains uh, to your reading. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started my blessing and prayer. If you have any questions about me, wanna know a little bit more, uh, client reviews, book a reading, buy a candle, a card deck, crystals, merchandise, that's all gonna be on my website and the link is in the description box below. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I hope you guys are doing well, Gemini. Mother, Father, God, divine, Holy Spirit, and most high, Lord Jesus, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Gemini in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception into what karmic cycles, soul lessons, and generational curses and I may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, in all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. You're questioning things, Gemini. Questioning... You're questioning truths, I feel. Questioning truths that maybe you've known your whole life or there's just a lot going on <clears throat> in the thought realm that I see you kind of trying to decipher and understand. Almost like you're trying to look deeper at a situation, but, but the way Spirit is showing me is you're still kind of hovering over it. You haven't taken a, a nosedive into it yet. I think you're trying to figure out where, how do you want to do it? What's the angle you want to approach this? You have the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. Then you have current, the Four of Swords, the High Priestess in the center of your reading. Nine of Cups, Judgment. Ten of Wands. And the Two of Cups. Yeah, there's something that you're not fully addressing here. Now, now, I could be connecting to the other person's energy. So if this energy that I'm going to start, you know, reading isn't yours and it's for the other person, place it there. You know, no, no, no need to get upset. Um, <clears throat> all that does is make you upset. It doesn't affect me. I'm just saying some people have been wiling out. Um, here's what I'm seeing. I, I, I'm seeing you needing to walk away from something that's causing you a headache. And perhaps that's why spirit was showing me a perception of somebody hovering over an issue and not sure how to dive into it. There is no other way around it. You have to go through the darkness and the pain in order to get through the other side. It's the only way to heal, right? You have to think of of life situations even like a cut on your body it it the cut happens then the pain happens then you have to go through the annoying process of that cut healing which is typically still painful still sore then it gets itchy then it gets irritating then it gets annoying and then the scab starts to fall off and you're fine now that's kind of what i'm seeing here it's almost like somebody is trying to avoid the word they're giving me is dispel they're trying to avoid dispelling whatever they need to get out of their system they want to go around it and still have everything work for them in that same manner and that's probably why you're having a lot of conflict ten of cups five of swords the devil and the wheel of fortune in some type of family environment, any sort of relationship here with the Ten of Cups, quite honestly. Yeah, and then there's the Three of Swords and the Moon. If you're looking for a shift, 
You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Swords, and the Moon. If you're looking for a shift, the Most High is saying, let's go for a deep dive. Let's go for a deep dive so that I can show you all of the hidden information that you think you are aware of, but you have no clue, right? And I say all of this with love. I'm just the messenger. Because what I see you doing is walking away here. Eight of Cups, Seven of Wands, Knight of Swords. You, you walked away from a situation and it somehow you ended up walking right into conflict or an energy of really needing or feeling defensive, right? And putting your guard up. I see hostility coming from another person with the Knight of Swords as well. So this is you kind of being protective, trying to put your guard up. Like you're not going to come at me. You're not going to attack me. And you may feel like you have more than one person. Um, I'm going to say misjudging you. You feel like you have more than one person misjudging you. That's the problem with human judgment is we all misjudge each other because what we forget to do is get to the core root and that is we're all souls here going through a lesson and if we could recognize that instead of being at this 3D level of, of looking at it, if we could come a little bit higher, there might be more compassion and understanding and, and people might be able to heal a little bit, but some people aren't ready to address that. But they're definitely, and I feel like that's how you see it. But at the same token, there's someone coming at you. They're upset. Clarify, please, this Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here for Gemini? Nine of Cups. Yeah, you were in search of your happiness because something was missing, okay? You have Hierophant and the Emperor. And then you have the Death card here. So... You're on a journey to find out what fulfills you to the fullest. What, what do you align with? Again, something about beliefs, something about perceptions or the way something was. You're trying to look at it differently here, especially with the emperor. I feel like you're trying to take control of a situation, your own empire, and you're trying to make sure that there's no more voids, that it's fulfilled and aligned with what you want. But it's not easy. It's definitely been, it's been proving to be some type of battle here. It's like somebody went on this journey. I just got a very specific message. So I don't know if somebody like went on this journey in a relationship, like this is my happiness. It, you could have gotten married or you could have gotten in a very committed relationship. And now it, it, it's not proving to be what you thought it was going to be. Okay, that's specific. Seven of Wands. You feel like you're fighting a good fight by yourself here. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? You have justice. So there are some type, there could be legal issues here, contracts, or like just going back and forth on some sort of binding. I think it was binding for some of you. Going back and forth on some sort of binding uh, contract, binding situation that you can't get out of. It's just proving to be difficult. Like you have to fight for something here. Fighting for something to be right. Queen of Swords. Fighting for your truth to be heard. You feel like nobody's listening to you. Knight of Cups. <sighs> Page of Swords. Five of Wands. Page of Cups. Ten of Cups again. There's a lot of pettiness that's going on in a situation. I see there could be children involved, okay? A lot of children involved. And there's like fighting, fighting over these kids or fighting over what somebody is seeing or how, this is specific, how somebody is giving love. Somebody wants to walk away from a situation and it's almost like the other person is ignoring them. Literally. And there seems to be a lot of stipulations to how... There's a lot of stipulations to how somebody wants to receive love or what they think love is. 
And I think that's causing friction here. <clears throat> Clarify the Knight of Swords for Gemini, please. What is this Knight of Swords? Three of Wands. Six of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. And the Seven of Swords. Seven of Wands again in the Page of Cups. Um... Somebody, look, I feel this hostile energy with the Knight of Swords. It's almost like somebody's asking for someone else to wait, okay, with the Three of Wands here. It's like something's coming, but it, it no matter what, it has to be a period of waiting because it's not here yet. And what they're saying they're going to bring is fulfillment and abundance here ten of pentacles six of cups you could have children with this person but again it could just be a family environment because i i mean there's just children that keep coming out everywhere so i have to bring that up again this is a general reading um but what i don't like for you gemini is this seven of swords and the seven of wands on the bottom there's still manipulation okay there's still somebody trying to get away with something and that is creating a barrier in the growth and the trust of this relationship it's almost like somebody isn't serious right somebody it's like i i keep seeing someone who's making promises like it's going to change it's going to change and then it doesn't it doesn't change and so now there's this rushed conversation about what's coming but it's still not there it's still not something that is happening or is palpable. It's out in the future and it's coming. All right, you have the Four of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, well, the Nine of Cups was up here. So I see how this is tying in. This separation, this waiting up here, it's necessary. It's The divine is making sure that it happens. Why? Because there's more information that needs to be revealed i feel through divine wisdom and some sort of revelation okay it is it's like an enlightenment is taking place this information that's going to be revealed to you may not just be about this situation gemini it's going to be um from a higher perception it's like a shift right <clears throat> four of swords and the high priestess It's funny because I feel like you're annoyed with this, this time out. There is a separation or there's distance here and you're kind of wanting to put an end to something. This information that comes to you through this patience and waiting, it's going to be a wish or a prayer fulfilled. Clarify the Four of Swords, please, for Gemini. Why is this Four of Swords here? Six of Swords. Ace of Swords, there's the Seven. There's going to be some sort of conversation or truth revealed to you. That's why you need more information. Because there was a betrayal here. And there's a toxic cycle that needs to end and close out. It's like it, that's got to be done and over with. Whatever the behavior was, whatever the thought process was, that has to be done and over with. And these swords, it's like someone's really in stuck in their mind. So I don't know if there's communication back and forth or if it's just all in someone's head. Yeah, two of wands, you have a decision to make and there it is, the knight of swords. So see, there's a message that's coming in and I feel like whatever this, this message was, it may cause some sort of conflict or argument. The funny thing is, and what's so confusing to me, 10 of cups, it just keeps showing up. So I don't know if somebody's just in the process of denying their own happiness. They haven't connected with it yet. And they're going to because this is a lesson here. Because you definitely have karma taking place. There's definitely some type of um, temptation and toxic environments and behaviors that have to be worked through here. With the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Swords, and the Devil, and the Moon. Right? It has to be processed and, and let go of. In religious text, you would call that repentance and turning away from sin, right? And that's kind of what has happened. Somebody has to, to see 
their own toxicity and lay it down and leave it. All right, you have the high priestess here. So information is coming to you. You're going to be left at a crossroads and needing to make a decision. Clarify, please, this high priestess for Gemini. <clears throat> Page of Swords. Seven of Wands. They're very defensive. Whatever information is coming out, they're defensive. Ten of Swords here. I feel like somebody, this information, there's something that's hidden, right? With the high priestess, there's something that's going to come to the surface. I don't feel like if it's you or the other person, whoever it is, they're not ready. They're not ready to communicate. Because right now, everything, they feel like they have to defend their position. Okay. Very argumentative. Somebody here, this could be a child and a mother. Okay. This could be issues between a child and a mother. And it's really because this page of swords is just curious. They sense that something isn't being told to them. And that's what's making them react this way with the seven of wands. What is this queen of pentacles, please? So this Queen of Pentacles could be you. I feel like it's a, if you're a Gemini female, I feel like it's you. If you're a Gemini masculine, I feel like, I, I mean, and take this with a grain of salt, but there may be some things that need to be addressed. And I could be wrong. Maybe it's different for, for all of you. You know, it's a large collective, but this Queen of Pentacles is not playing. She doesn't want to deal with a situation anymore there she's like protecting herself she's not letting any sort of toxicity any sort of lack of being able to communicate argumentative communication emotional lack physical lack abandonment wounds ghosting it's done like she's closed out the devil to her life it can't get to her okay and see this page it's like i don't know if it's children or just somebody that's younger but she doesn't trust any of these messages coming towards her because they're coming from people that are emotionally immature. I think it's you, Gemini, male or female. You're like, I'm not doing this right now. You have the nine of cups. Yeah, because your happiness and your fulfillment, nine, 10 of cups is way more important. If that means that you have to ignore toxicity and the devil or some sort of narcissist or Whatever it is, you have to turn your back to something that's no longer helping you grow or be better or do better. Clarify the Nine of Cups. Three of Swords. Yeah, sometimes to get to your happiness, not sometimes, all the time. To get to your happiness, you have to go through pain because it's all about releasing and, and, and letting go. You have the Three of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Two of Cups, which Seven and Two is the Nine of Cups. Okay, so during a pause, during a separation between you and this person, there's a lot of heartbreak, there's a lot of confusion, and everything seems up in the air, but yet there's still a, a love, right? For some of you, this is an intimate relationship, and it fulfills both of you. I think what the issue is, is there's confusion with where someone's investment in heart lies. Like, do you care for me? Am I the one that you want to be with? That's kind of the, the energy that I'm getting here. If this is a family environment, there's somebody who invested and gave a lot more in this connection. And they, they were waiting for the return and it wasn't coming yet. It hasn't come. You have Judgment, Ten of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Gemini, I feel like you may have to take a pause in a separation from a situation that you're going to see from a higher perception. And I feel like it's because the work that is going to be done is not necessarily going to be on this connection, but more on one's self, right? Judgment, yeah, you have the hermit. This is because someone does the inner work. 
Four of Pentacles, what were you unable to let go of or see from a different perception in regards to love? Is there any baggage that needs to be released? There's things that are coming up for reconciliation, Ten of Wands, taking the burden off Gemini and allowing yourself to move forward in a new direction. The only thing that concerns me is this Four of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. What are you unable to release and let go of? There's something here that somebody cannot stop doing or playing with. The devil and the seven of swords. This is that devil and the seven of swords that keeps popping up is what is preventing this whole situation from being able to transition into something positive. And so at some point, it looks as though due to somebody's free will, you're going to have to walk away because somebody doesn't want to heal. They're not ready. All right, Ten of Wands, please. Hanged man. The tower. Nine of Wands. Yeah. It's like I said, you have to walk through the pain to get to the other side, and it's not easy. It's not easy, and I do feel as though someone's very hesitant about taking certain steps to change their life. They're having a really hard time with letting go of things that have happened in the past here. They're not going to have a choice much longer, Gemini. It's going to be forced upon them by the, by, by the Most High. Clarify, please, Two of Swords. The world, something comes to a complete halt and stop. Five of Wands. And the Moon. And there it is again with the Wheel of Fortune. It's inevitable what's coming, right? It's inevitable what's coming because I feel like somebody here didn't have the emotional capacity to give what they needed to give to a situation and time's up. There's a total pause and stalemate and ending to a certain way of being. It is going to cause a lot of conflict, okay? But the purpose of this is to bring up emotional wounds and traumas to release so that you can get out of some sort of faded cycle and into a destiny cycle. Clarify please for Gemini. Closing messages please for Gemini. Strength. Lovely. All right, so you have strength here. Let's see real quick. All right, the tiger has been hailed in many mythologies as a being of great might and physical ability. They have also been connected with war, athleticism, and protection. In Imperial China, the symbol of the tiger was often associated with high-ranking generals whose only superiors were the dragon and phoenix, emperor and empress. This card is a symbol of physical strength, protective strength, and bodily prowess. prowess. The tiger card represents inner strength as well as physical strength. It is a strength that helps us overcome adversity, illness, hatred, and danger. I'm telling you, you gotta go through the pain, but it's gonna help you overcome it. This card is exemplary of strong will, moral strength, and resistance to temptation. It is the fortitude of quiet personal power and careful restraint of overwhelming emotion necessary to see the task come to a fruitful conclusion. The shadow of this card may easily be weakness, either physical or mental. However, it might also be a facade of strength that you feel you have to show the world. Ask yourself who you are projecting that image of strength for, and if it is making those around you believe that you do not need help. It is okay to be vulnerable, right? In times of growth and transformation, uh, Gemini, there is a situation here though, um, that I feel you're worried you're not going to be able to overcome and you are, okay? You are. The strength that you have inside of you, it's going to be put to the test, but in the end, you're going to recognize just how strong you are. It's, 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 it's amazing when you start closing out and healing these cycles. So kudos to you, Gemini. I'm sending you guys much love and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.